A lot of AI workflows break down at orchestration, deciding what to run, where data lives, and how results get written back safely. In this demo, I'm going to show you a reusable metadata extraction workflow built as an agent skill. It's powered by Box AI, connected to Box MCP, and writes metadata directly back to files in Box. I'm Andrew, Senior Vibe Drive Kid here at Box. Let's get started. Now, an agent skill is basically a packaged capability. So instead of reprompting or rewriting a workflow every single time, you define it once in a single skill that MD file, then you invoke it by name. That means for our demo, the skill's going to know how to read files from box, extract structured values using box AI, then write all that back as metadata. Let's jump into a real folder and see it all in action. Here in box, we've got a folder of different identification documents. So for example, this one. The goal is to extract structured fields from these docs. So things like name, document number, and dates, then write them back as box metadata on each file in this folder. Just keep in mind that this workflow is template driven. So it's also gonna work for other document types too. Now, to make sure that all works safely and consistently, let's start with a metadata template. Now, this template is what we're targeting. The key point is that it defines our data model. So instead of hard coding fields in code, the skill just takes a template key, in this case, identifications, then collects the values for those fields. That is, these fields down over here. With this schema in place, let's switch over to the dev side and see how the agent connects the box. Here in Cursor, we're running the local BoxMCP server from the Box Community repo. We'll close up the terminal. Cursor sees it as a set of tools. So files, folders, box AI, metadata. This way, the agent can call box capabilities directly. Now we'll close it up, open up the file tree. Instead of pasting a long workflow prompt every single time, I've packaged the workflow as an agent skill, defined right here in a single skill.md file. In short, this file describes the steps, listing top level files in a folder, extracting structured values using box AI, then writing only non-empty values back to empty metadata fields. First things first, let's go ahead and install this agent skill into cursor. We'll open up a terminal, use this command, then run the installation. All this really does is take our markdown file and registers it so the agent can invoke it by name. Once we have it installed, cursor treats it as a first class capability so we don't need to paste prompts or re-explain the workflow. Over here in the file tree, you can see that it's installed as box metadata extraction. I'll just refer to it as box data extraction from here on out. We'll close this all up, give yourself some space. With everything in place, let's test it out by doing a dry run on a single file in our folder. We'll first open up the chat, then we'll paste this in. Use the box data extraction skill on this folder using the metadata template key identifications. We'll set the dry run to true and limit to one file in this folder. Let's hit submit. All right, looks like it's done. Let's go back to the top. You can check out the thinking process, including which tools that it used from our box MCP server, including folder tools, metadata tools, and so on. Then at the bottom, we have our extracted output. Again, these are the values for the fields that we defined in the metadata template. Okay, so far so good. Let's clear it up. Now, let's go ahead and run the same workflow for real. That is, we're actually gonna write the metadata back to box. Let's check it out. We're gonna use the same prompt, but this time, we're gonna set dry run to false. We'll hit submit. All right, looks like we're good. You can see exactly which fields were written. Once you're good with a single file result, feel free to remove the limit parameter to run this across the entire folder. So to check out what this looks like in box, let's jump back into our folder. Back in box, here's that same file. And in the metadata panel, you can see those fields are now populated. That's the payoff. 
the content stays in box, this data becomes searchable and ready for automation, and this workflow is reusable, driven by our metadata template, that is, our schema. So that's the pattern. We saw agent skills for reusable orchestration, box MCP for tool access, box AI for extraction, and box metadata as a structured output that powers workflows. In the end, it's all template driven, so you can actually reuse the same skill for invoices, contracts, IDs, whatever schema you already have in Box. For more on all things Box AI, check out our documentation. I'm Andrew, Senior Developer Advocate here at Box. See you next time.